You go that way. I'll go this way. What did you do? Was he bleeding like that before I hit him? I've got the shiny dragon. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say... Look, I didn't do it, all right? Yeah, sure. Let's see what the witnesses have to say about that. Man, if this dragon could only speak, I'll bet you've been through quite an ordeal, my friend. What, um, what is this thing, anyway? It was donated by one of our oldest alums, a gold-plated dragon head with ruby eyes and diamond teeth. We keep it out in the hall. Why didn't you lock it up? You can't cage the dragon. It's true, you can't. Well, we're gonna find out exactly what happened. Right. Round up the usual witnesses. Look, all we need is some- I know exactly what you need. Cause I got it right here for you, pal. Cookies, huh? Only 50 cents a pop, good deal, good deal. And all proceeds go to the drama club. We're not hungry, my wife made waffles. Just tell us, in your own words, exactly what happened. Well, I was standing there manning the bake sale with a very eager customer. Billy, 25 muffins. The best investment you ever made in your life, my friend. And I was thinking, this is great, because now the baking club has $25 to go buy more muffins to sell, because he ate them all. And I was super psyched, because the fish balls for the aquatics club were slow. The bubble wrap for the future on, movers we'll of America fine. was lagging. So I looked back at Billy, and it looked like he was having trouble with all of those muffins. So I asked him, Billy, do you want some water? Because I'll get you some water for a dollar. You know the swim team can always use more Speedos. Mmm, mm, so good. Well, Billy looked like he was game, so I started off to the water fountain. I turned the corner and looked, and all I saw was the empty podium and a blur of red shoes. Red shoes? Red shoes, just like the basketball team wears. Well, actually only the starters wear them, but we're selling these to cover all the expenses. No, we can't. Well... So what's the deal with interrogation? I mean, come on, they take you into a small room, no lights, and they start asking you questions. What's up with that? Jerry Seinfeld? Jerry Seinfeld? Anyone? Uh, just tell us what you saw. Well, I was walking down the hall doing the Rodney Dangerfield. Hey, baby, you got some pretty nice eyes behind those magnifying glasses. What, are you studying the stars with those things? Dangerfield? Rodney Dangerfield? Yes? No? Maybe? But that was getting old, so I switched it over to the Jay Leno. When I saw this group of girls and whipped out the old Groucho Marx. But they didn't get it, so I shrugged it off with Macaulay Culkin and decided to get tough. That's when I saw a guy down by the dragon, but I was in Steven Seagal mode, full on squint, you know? Peekaboo! A blue head? Yeah! Tom Cruise? Now get out. Get out! Get out! Get out! There's a bomb in the building! Aw oh man, get out of here, hit the road. Good afternoon, gentlemen. My name is Home Auditor Mike. This is my associate, Deputy Sanders. What brings you two gentlemen here today? This is a crime scene. We're interrogating witnesses. Did you seal the perimeter? You always have to seal the perimeter. You gotta do it. You gotta. Yeah, we did. We're real cops. You're real cops? Ever taken a swirly in the line of duty? No pun intended. All right, officers. Just tell us what you saw. I was on patrol in the senior hallway. It's a noted hangout for lowlifes. That's when I radioed in some suspicious behavior. I was purchasing some supplies when I got the call. I met up with Hall Monitor Mike at the rendezvous point. What was the emergency? Band practice. Then some girls walked by. They were looking at something else. Some guy with a giant mustache. 
When someone's holding a giant gold dragon head, it's impossible not to look. So wait, was it a goatee or a soul patch? It was a mustache. You know, like an eyebrow for a smile. Hmm. And what did you see? Before I tell you what I see, you must answer these riddles three. Ow! Oh. All right, sweetheart, so what's your story? Well, sir, I was studying in the hall. I had just donated to the Puppies Without Mothers Foundation and was catching up on my homework when I was interrupted by a student with some questions. As I was about to let him know that it was rude to interrupt, I was distracted by some commotion down the hall. I went down the hall to investigate. Sure enough, our beloved mascot had gone astray. I was quite upset. That dragon was a beautiful piece of art. I noticed someone carrying what appeared to be our priceless effigy. He was wearing a gold necklace. He ducked around a corner, so I politely asked my peers if they knew the burglar's identity. Guys. Sadly, none of them did. Well, dearie, it certainly seems like you're doing your part for the good of the school. That's all we need. Run along now, sweetheart. Another world leader, right? Yeah. I think we've got enough for a sketch. It's not even close. What do you mean? It's definitely him. They have the same jowls. Look at that thieving stare. I'm sorry, sir, but I told you. We don't have enough evidence to put him away. Yep. Innocent until proven guilty. The only thing this proves is that you've got some mustachioed bald man with incredible fashion sense wandering the halls. Jeez, I better go lock up the diamond dragon tail in our lunchroom. <laughs>